Hi, and welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. I'm Frank, the Low Carb Cocktail Guy. Now that summer's coming to an end, and we just wrapped up our Tiki series, I thought, what kind of series would I like to do next? I thought about it a little bit. I thought, so how about some breakfast cocktails? So we're gonna start with one of my favorites, and that's gonna be the bacon maple old fashioned. I'm gonna use a bacon infused bourbon. It's not real hard to infuse your own whiskey. So to make a bacon infused whiskey, I took a bottle of Jim Beam, took a pound of bacon, fried the bacon. Then I took the Jim Beam, I put it in an 800 millimeter mason jar, took the bacon grease from that, put that in a mason jar, capped that up and put it in a freezer uh, for I think it was about 48 hours. Uh, the grease gets hard, you can just scoop that right off. You will have to filter it quite a bit uh, just to get yourself a clear product. So that's it's really simple. Bacon infused whiskey, bacon grease, whiskey, mason jar, freeze it, take the grease off, filter it, bam, that's it. So let's go ahead and use it to make a bacon maple old fashioned. Just like every old fashioned, you'll start with an old fashioned glass. Now the regular old fashioned uses a sugar cube. So instead of a sugar cube, we'll be using some sugar free maple syrup. We use about a teaspoon, depending on how sweet you like it. If you like it a little sweeter, man, do two. If not, man, do a half. Uh, I'm gonna do my bar spoon is a half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna do two bar spoons of my sugar-free maple syrup. Uh, I think it's got five carbs, but sugar and alcohol is five, so it has zero net carbs in that. Now, an old-fashioned use is Angostura bitters. Um, since we kind of change up a little bit, we're using some Angostura orange bitters. We'll do one dash of the orange bitters. Now the next thing I found in trial and error and doing a little bit more research is because we're using a syrup, uh, you just add about a you know half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of water just to get that syrup broken down a little bit with the bitters. So um, before it just it just it was thick and it didn't blend very well. So there we have that. Now we're gonna go ahead and add two ounces of our bacon infused bourbon. And we're gonna give that another little stir. Just make sure the bourbon is blended with the syrup and the orange bitters. And next, big ol' ice cube. Or should I say ice sphere. Drop that in. Go ahead and stir this. Get a little bit of dilution. Get it nice and chilled. My ice cream is the same size as the glass, so, and I'm about there when I can kind of fit my spoon between the ice and the glass. I know I'm kind of where I need it to be on my dilution. And there we go. I'm going to garnish that with an orange peel. Press the oils right over the top. Nice little twist. I also like to rim the glass a little bit with the peel, some of the oils on the glass, so you kind of smell that as you're drinking. Drop that in. And there you have it. The bacon maple old fashioned. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Man. It's not bacon in your face. There's a little hint of bacon in it. Um, so if you want a stronger bacon taste, um, leave it um, in a bottle, leave it in the mason jar a little bit longer. Uh, so but I like this, this was two days uh, steeping in a freezer. Uh, and I found that to be just fine. Uh, if you want a little more bacon flavor, leave it longer. But this is absolutely delicious, guys. The orange, maple, perfect breakfast cocktail. All right, guys, y'all have a good day. I know I will. Don't forget, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, tell me if you like this cocktail, if you don't like this cocktail, um, something I maybe can do different with it, and we'll go from there. All right, guys.
Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day.